welcome to LSB Features Radio Channel and Travel Corner, where we keep great radio from the past alive. And oh, got a good one today. This air check I've actually been asked for probably about a dozen times over the last several years, and I finally found it thanks to my friend Alan Tolls, who passed this along to me. It's May 22nd, 1962, and hosting his late night popular talk show on WMEX Boston is Jerry Williams. Things are just going along, normal show, when suddenly committee man Jack Molesworth muscled his way into the WMEX studios. He disrupted a live show and demanded equal time for comments that had been made on the show by Jerry. Well, what happens is Jerry tells him to leave the studio, he refuses to leave, Jerry yells at him, he yells back, and it all degenerates into a knockdown, drag out brawl, live on the air for all of New England to hear. Actually, after the fight, battered Molesworth drove directly to Massachusetts General Hospital for treatment. The two actually had been feuding for months, so this was the culmination of this battle that had been going on verbally between the two of them. Uh, Molesworth said he got the bums rush out of the studio and he said he had a broken shoulder and a fractured left elbow and numerous bruises and Jerry went back on the air breathless and just kind of continued the show. This brawl was legendary in Boston. It was on the front page of the Boston Globe the following day and for more than 30 years Aging listeners would approach Jerry at appearances and things and say, I remember that night you had the fight at the WMEX studio where you duped it out with Jack Molesworth. The brawl between the two of them had reached mythological proportions in New England. If you like the air check, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel below and after you do, smack that bell and you will be notified whenever we post anything new. All right. If you're ready, let's go back to May 22nd, 1962, with Jerry Williams and an all-out live on-air brawl on 1510 WMEX, Boston. Do you disagree? I think he's terrible. Or do you agree? Yes, he's wonderful. Well, whatever you think, feel free to let us know. Just call us WMEX. On the radio, the Jerry Williams Show. Uh, the, the bill. Just a minute, will you please excuse me a minute, yeah. Julius, because we have somebody in very bad taste who walks in now at 10 minutes after midnight, Jack Molesworth, who wants to go on the air. Now, do you think that's fair, Jack? Do you wait up, wait just a minute. I offered equal time to the governor. I offered equal time to Frank Lappin, the governor's aide, who's been up here on this bill, incidentally. And I offered equal time to any member of the insurance companies who would care to contact me to come up here and discuss this bill. Now, you popped in just 30 seconds ago, 10 minutes after midnight, interrupted Julius on the air, didn't even have the courtesy to say, excuse me, or anything like that, and I think that's disastrous. I wouldn't do that to you. You're interrupting Julius in the air, not me. No, well, you certainly interrupted him. I would like to defend the bill. Well, you can defend the bill, and all you... All you have to do is contact. All you have to do is contact me during the day when our official office hours are. And if you want somebody from the assurance companies to come up here and discuss it with the governor's aid, or Frank Lappin, Frank Lappin was already up here on. Well, uh, you contact me during the day, and I just told you tomorrow. But in the, uh, incidentally, that wasn't good enough, was it? You want me to appear tomorrow? I said I would uh, discuss it with you tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow evening if you want me to be well, here. Well, uh, I'm not going to discuss it with you, Jack, in the middle of a broadcast when I can't discuss it with you. Do you think that's fair? I'm not attempting to discuss the broadcast. I'm talking to you. Well, first. well, please get out. Of, will you please get out of the studio? Right will you please get out of the studio? Right now, you get out of the studio. This is our studio. I want you to get out of the studio, and I'll discuss it with you another time. We're in the midst of a broadcast, and I think there's very poor taste on your part to come in here and get me angry. It's now, quite apparent you walk equal time when look, comes uh, Jack, when. Oh, all right. Uh, and and uh, it's perfectly all right for you to come in at 10 minutes after midnight, discuss it with me in the middle of a broadcast, and try to get the equal time. Well, you were not whispering. You started to raise your voice. Now, you'll please leave the studio. We'll discuss it at some other time. Tomorrow afternoon is the time to discuss it. will not allow the other side to be heard. That's your position. Oh, if that's the position you think, Jack, go ahead. You 
misrepresent the bill. You claim there's two percent and ten percent. There's nothing in the bill that says anything. To do well, you call it. Commissioner Whitney or co call the governor or find out from the insurance companies or what was debated on the floor. And I think it's quite unfair of you to walk in this studio and try that sort of uh, tactic, which is a typical Jack Molesworth tactic of trying to deal with things. Now, if you wanted to go on the air tonight, Jack, you could have called me this afternoon and you would have gotten the time. First, you would not have answered my call. You would not have returned it if you had to be here because I called well, you. Well, that, that, of course, that is, your, that is your typical uh, way of, of dealing with people, These Jack. These are the facts. Well, would you please leave the studio? These are the facts. Please leave the studio. Please leave the studio or I'm going to have to have you ejected from the studio. This is our studio, our private studio. Please leave the studio. I'm asking you to leave. And if the governor or Frank Lappin or any responsible citizen wants some time, they can have it. And Frank Lappin has already been up here on the governor's bill. And that's so far as much as you know. Not to, not to you, sir. Not to you, sir, with any sort of a tactic like this. You, first of all, you've got to be a gentleman to come in here. And if you call this a gentlemanly way of dealing, when you call me, I'll recall you anytime. Now, please, just, get, just leave the studio, will you please? Leave the studio. I quit the shouting here right now. Leave the studio. I thought it was very unfair of you to start shouting at that point. Oh, would you please leave the studio? Please leave our studio. That's all. This is our private property. I'm asking you to leave the studio. I wouldn't pop into your po your office in that manner. If I invited you, you'd be welcome. Well, uh, I didn't invite you, Jack. I didn't invite you. You invited. I in don't invite. Nobody in the history of this program or any other program ever walked in here in the middle of a broadcast to try to get equal time. There are these things are done in responsible ways. You're a good letter writer. You would have gotten the equal time, Jack, but not under these circumstances. You You've been on this program five or six different times, and these are the kind. Now, I'm telling you to get out of the studio. That's all. You get out of the studio. Get out of the studio. Jack Molesworth, Republican State Committeeman, a man of manners and courtesy and dignity, and that's... that's well, yeah, you don't pop into the studio, Jack, and ask for equal time under those circumstances. That's not the way we do business here. Well, let the record show that you offer, but you won't accept it. Okay, you, you can ra do your rabble rousing up at the Republican State Committee, as you usually do. You are the rabble just, just, get out, just get out of the studio. You can go with Major General Walker and the rest of those cats. Major General Walker is no friend of mine. No. Will with you the please leave the studio? Stop aligning me over the air, or I will stop you. Well, that's what happens when my friends did what they agreed to do. That's what happens when Julius? Well, we're in the heat of battle. Uh, uh, we're in the heat of battle of the House of Representatives, and uh, I'm in the midst of the heat of battle here at the uh, studio of Jerry Williams. Uh, I'm sorry that there was a slight delay in the presentation, but apparently uh, Mr. Jack uh, Molesworth came in and uh, very rudely, I think, from what I've observed, and there are witnesses here, in an attempt to uh, intimidate Jerry Williams uh, to present a point of view. He asked him to call him tomorrow, and he'd be very happy uh, to arrange time uh, with some authentic spokesman for the governor 
or for some agent of the governor in relation to the insurance bill, uh, number 772, that's the Senate bill, uh, that was discussed on this progr program last night and which preceded my presentation by Representative Keenan of Dorchester. I was giving a report on the existing blue laws. Uh, the blue laws as passed by the Massachusetts legislature tonight uh, will uh, permit the tourist trade uh, to a uh, program that uh, invites comment and controversy, uh, but we experience that in the field of politics. Well, uh, this whole situation came about as a result. You were here last night, Julius, when uh, Representative Keenan, myself, uh, took the, uh, the ball and started running with it on the governor's bill 772. Frank Lappin has been up here on this program. He was invited to stay the three hours. He refused to. He stayed 45 minutes. Gave him full time to explain the bill. Uh, Mr. Vince Canavan, the attorney, was on with him. And uh, there was full and open debate that particular night. If Frank Lappin wanted to stay, he could stay longer. Last night, I offered equal time to uh, the reinsurance companies, the governor's office, and you were here, Julius, and I have the tapes to prove it, and to the insurance companies. The insurance company...